Hey YouTubers, this is my uh, Samsung Galaxy S T-Mobile Vibrant and I'm showing you the update that's taking place on the phone. I just received a notification via a text message on the Vibrant from T-Mobile saying congratulations, uh, an update is available. This uh, fixes the GPS issue and some other uh, fixes and improvements on uh, Android 2.1, which is on the Vibrant. The uh, message said that the update takes approximately 10 minutes, so we shall see. Uh, I started this video approximately... Uh, 30 seconds into the update process and then thought, well, I might as well take a video of it. So let's see what happens. I know this is kind of boring to some of you, but I'm sure there will be some people on YouTube uh, asking about the update. Uh, when is it going to be available? How is it done, etc. This is, uh, by the way, this is, the process is called OTA. That means over the air. And uh, it's downloaded automatically once you tell the phone to install the update, it's downloaded automatically from uh, T-Mobile, the internet, whatever. And that's what they mean by OTA, over the air. You can see that uh, I made sure that my battery is fully charged, but I have mine connected here to the uh, an outlet, and I have it in a holder here, which you can see. You always make sure your battery is fully charged. Uh, I didn't see that there was a warning on here saying that. Usually there is on any uh, software installs, especially uh, ROMs or operating systems. So this might uh, have had a detector, the software, that accesses your phone and, and determines whether or not um, your battery is charged enough. Okay, you can see that it said uh, the software is, is finished uh, as far as downloading. I don't think it's done installing, but it could be. And it automatically rebooted. Okay, let's see. This is the uh, usual boot up screen. Let me uh, dim the lights. I don't have a tripod uh, set up because I decided to do this at the last second. Let me turn off this monitor and see if that also makes a difference. You can see that um, it's staying on the boot screen, as we call it, for a little while here. So that tells me that it's installing the uh, update.
I don't know if this is a, a full ROM or if it's simply a um, smaller file an update. I'll have to look that up. Let's see if I get closer here. You can see that the, uh, let me put it on. Macro mode. This I'm using this little uh, camera camcorder that was handy, but uh, maybe that shows that the S is animated, indicating that there's activity, something going on. Okay, let's see. Now this uh, this tells me it's not a complete ROM update because, for one thing, it would have taken a long time to download, and number two is that if this was a ROM replacement, then I would be losing everything that I had on here, and T-Mobile would have told me back up your entire system because you're going to lose your email, wallpaper, all these other things that you see here. So this looks like it's done. Let's uh, swipe the screen. It's uh, booting up with all my settings, which is why uh, when I'm trying to swipe it, there we go. Now we can go into settings. And then we can go down here. Now when I press software update, it should say there's none available because it just installed it. Okay, here we have the, you can see the model number, etc. And you can see down here, it says build version it says Eclair. That's good to see. And this uh, this update has been called the JI6, I believe. The update that everybody was installing from uh, XDA was JI5. That was pulled from T-Mobile, not T-Mobile, from, from Keys or Kai's, however you say it, from Samsung, because they said there were problems with it. So they came out with a different update, which is JI6, which is right there. You can see it. Let me, let me again try this mechanical macro mode and see if this works. You can see it right there. And I'll scroll up so you can... Now you can see that the firmware version, I'm still on Android 2.1, and it says update one. Uh, Samsung is supposed to be coming out with Android 2.2 fairly soon. I expect probably uh, mid-October. Mid Okay, so and now let's go hit the back. And here we are back to the home screen. Let's see, this will give you the uh, date and time. Interesting that it changed. Uh, this used to have San Francisco, which is where I'm at. And that seems to have been. You get to watch this. trying to do this sideways, so, uh, yep, there it is. 
Okay, then we say save. And there we go. This is a uh, Samsung widget here. It's called the Daily Briefing. Pretty cool. It gives you the weather and then also the latest news. You can see that they it flashes the news. Okay, and then here we are at the middle home page. You can see also that I set it up to have fewer screens. I just like not having a bunch of screens. Here's a sling player. Let's see if that works. I'm digressing. Uh, you don't have to watch the rest of this video if you don't want to. I'm just confirming that um, things haven't changed all that much with the um, update. This is connecting. Let's see, I'm trying to. Okay, this all works fine. There's a uh, there's a little lag when uh, when I first connect uh, Sling Player, then the buffer kicks in and it works fine. All right, that's the end of it. Hope you enjoyed the video on the update. And uh, if you have a vibrant, you should uh, patiently wait for the message to come to you. Uh, again, I'm on the West Coast in San Francisco, and today is Friday the. 8th I believe and I got the the uh, notification the uh, text message from T-Mobile about 20 minutes ago so that gives you an idea of how they're they, what they do is they roll these out over time uh, starting with where whatever city on the uh, East Coast Midwest who knows and then they roll it out gradually to so many thousands of uh, vibrant owners over time. So uh, I got mine today, Friday the 8th of October, at about uh, 1.30, 1.20 p.m. Okay, talk to you later, YouTubers.